The reason why my Taurus and I would guess most 2000 to 2004 Ford Tauruses brake lights don't work and they don't shift out of park is because the brake stoplight switch is bad. Just so you know, there is an open recall on the 2000 to 2004 Ford Taurus brake light stop switch, which is uh, located here at the uh, brake pedal. It is normally mounted to this right here, and then here is your, um, your shaft to your brake master cylinder. I'm going to show you really quickly how to uh, go ahead and mount that new brake light switch. The revised and supposedly more robust design is this one right here. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and put this on your car. Before I do that, I'm going to show you a quick fix on this design that maybe it's just a manufacturing defect mine did not actually work. I took the old one off, I put this one on, uh, everything was correctly done, the wiring was done right, but this switch, uh, either because of a, a fluke or because it is just a bad design, did not work. Basically, this switch is designed to close the circuit as the brake pedal arm arcs. It moves this little plate right here which, as you can see, compresses this spring and connects the circuit. Um, the problem is there's too much travel between this actual plunger right here and this moving plate. What I've actually done, let me see if I can get it to focus. What I've actually done is added a washer um, between this plunger and the plate right here. You can see there's a small washer right there. Um, the reason why I did this is because there's already an indentation on the plate and the washer, because of that indentation, will not pop out. I would highly recommend that you do this before you install. Um, it took me uh, quite a bit of time to try to figure out what the actual problem was. Go ahead and you basically take a flathead and you just compress this spring sideways and then you slip that washer right in there. Um, I've already tried it and it does work. Alright, I am going to skip one step and that is the actual wiring that you need to do. There are two wires on the replacement part that you're going to need to connect. Um, that part does come with instructions but you're going to basically cut the old wires and take the new ones and use those pinch connectors, slip the two wires together and pinch them both down and then tape them up. Um, you're also going to have to snap in the, the bracket, um, which is, let me see if I can get some light here. It is right here, um, that bracket right there. Um, is going to have to snap back onto part of the frame right here. Alright, so your final steps are to mount the new switch onto your brake pedal shaft. Make sure uh, that you first slip the replacement. These are the part comes with replacement bushings, so you slip this first bushing on right here. Hopefully, you can see that. Next step is to take your, um, this is another type of bushing, just to allow the uh, shaft to fit inside the your brakes. So you take your bushing and you put it in here. And then you go ahead and you move your brake pedal down in your shaft until you can slide it over right here. You don't want to slide it all the way down. We're going to go ahead and do the next step, which is slip that switch right over top of it. So you go ahead and you take your switch right here. 
you're going to want it in this orientation. All right. So the next step, you take your switch. Your last step is to go ahead and put this uh, white washer on as well. Put it on the outside of that shaft. All right, then you take your yellow uh, cotter pin right here and go ahead and put it back in. Take your new connector and plug it in. and you should be good to go.